Michaels helped put the happy in my Halloween this year with six new exclusive Lee Max collectibles. The lights, animations, and sounds of each piece adds a wonderfully spooky vibe to my home. Come take a look around at the amazing scenes I've created using not only the collectible buildings, but also the platforms, moss mats, and trees to complete the look. All found at Michael's. Let's get the party started at the Gloom Room. Pick your poison at this 20s themed bar and nightclub and join the zombie dance party on the rooftop. If dancing isn't your style, head on over to the Headstone Mill Brewery. The spinning windmill and skeletons are dizzying. Especially after you've had one of their special brews. The witches at Toil and Trouble Ale House next door are sure to conjure up a potion of your liking. Raven Hill is the first ever Lee Max Halloween facade, and it's a Michaels exclusive, including a mortuary, floral shop, haunted mansion, zombies, and even gargoyles. It's a little village all on its own. My Spooky Town collection wasn't complete without it. The little details are hair-raising. I've hung mine above the mantle and surrounded it with sinister and chilling figurines. How about a little fortune-telling at The Future Looks Dark? Will Madame Serena make your spine tingle as she tells you that your future looks grim? Or perhaps it's good news the cards hold for you. Now set your broom aside and watch the witches circle a brilliant full moon for one last magical dance at Dancing in the Moonlight. The fun jack-o'-lanterns around this piece and all the other buildings tie in our pumpkin carving traditions, which makes my home decor complete. All of these exclusively Max collectibles are available at your local Michaels or online at michaels.com. Don't forget your decorative buildup and filler pieces as well. Happy Halloween!